We are explicitly focused on the warfighter. Where are the capabilities heading? How are you going to get there before your adversaries? Adaptive optics is the key enabler for critical military technology. Mobilize the construction of spacecraft in days instead of years. Expanding the ability of human beings to deal with a very complex environment. Make these solar arrays three times lighter and ten times more radiation resistant. Laser communications through free space is a new frontier. Protecting the national infrastructure and doing it in the cyber world. The mission of AFRL is about creating the future. First and foremost, the Air Force is a technology branch of the military, and that means it is essential that we have an organization such as the Air Force Research Lab. We need to always ask ourselves, what's next? It's that question that really drove Arnold and Theodore von Karman in the early days of the Air Force. There simply is no room for complacency. If we're not changing, we're not doing our job. The only constant that we're going to face in the next uh, few years is change. We need that vision to provide something that will be helpful to the people that we put in harm's way. If we think of the first Gulf War, what if we hadn't had such things as precision navigation from space, low observables, space-based communication? precision weapons, the war would have been won. But at what price? How many thousands more dead? We know where we have come from and how we got to where we are today. We need to push forward as vigorously as we have in the past. Why do we have to create the future? Because we always face adaptive adversaries. R&D is the lead ship in the fight. There has to be innovation. There has to be imagination tied together with a thirst for excellence. AFRL is our future. Every good engineer or scientist is doing their job truly out of a love and inspiration for the field that they're pursuing. We ask a lot of questions. You have to be curious. It's the very nature of who we are. People talk about rocket science. This is real rocket science. What can we do and do rather quickly that will bring significant increases in combat capability. Information dominance. Radio waves interacting with plasmas. We modify life very carefully with great precision. We will have uh, software commanding the vehicle, uh, essentially taking the place of the pilot. We try to strike this balance between dreaming of the impossible and doing something and getting something done cyber supremacy spacecraft of the future ionic liquids are a breakthrough look ahead stimulate each other's thinking the goal is to be able to take the warfighters requirements and convert those into a launchable spacecraft within a week instead of years what really excites me about this is the whole spectrum of things we do here. We are working real-world problems in real time. We can model terrorist actors. Uh, we can model terrorist groups. We are turning that science fiction that we all grew up with into reality. Get rid of the clutter data and see what's actually a real target out there. Provide the warfighter with a set of tools that allows them to build a cohesive airspace picture for wartime and peacetime. Deliver a $200 million spacecraft to the warfighter for around $20 million. Innovation, passion, imagination. That happens here at AFRL. The Air Force Research Laboratory is one place where individuals can have a tremendous impact on what we do in the future. It's the people who have the knowledge and the passion to do something with it that can change the nature of conflict. It's that element of imagination, it's that element of what's next, it's that element of looking beyond the obvious that is at heart what we see embodied in the Air Force Research Laboratory.